for me, Lithuania is like a miracle uh, because uh, born in occupied by Soviet Lithuania, now I am speaking with you as member of European, European Parliament. Parliament. <laughs> Hello, Hatsa. Welcome Hello. to the Parliament. I know that's your first uh, term here yes. in the uh, European Parliament. In certain ways, my first term because I was here but five years ago. From 2009 but to 2014. But at least you know the building. Yes, <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah, it's, a, it's a very complex building, and yes. also the Strasbourg building. Yeah, Have both. you got lost in the building? Yeah, the... <laughs> still I am not going alone. <laughs> I know that you are a very brave po uh, politician, that you are one of the uh, politicians that has pushed for the independent from to get away from the Russian. Oh in yeah, the beginning that's and happened. The... I am very happy. So still, for me, Lithuania is like a miracle uh, because uh, born in occupied by Soviet Lithuania, now I am speaking with you as member of European, European Parliament. Parliament. <laughs> so yes. for my generation, is really like a miracle, a dream, like a, dream, a miracle. Yes, yes. <laughs> And you? What about you? Uh, I'm Portuguese. I'm um, also for us in certain way. It's very good to be in the European uh, project because we had a long dictatorship. Yes. Uh, after we, we were, uh, and we still have some fragilities in terms of poverty, but it makes all the difference to to enter the. Um, to Europe and uh, our big challenge is the, uh, to have a sustainable growth in terms of economy. Yeah, of we course. had a big crisis uh, quite recent so and uh, Europe has helped us yes. a lot. For us as well we had I think the most uh, decrease of our GDP. I was Minister of Defense exactly at the time when we faced the beginning of the crisis. So what are your priorities? I was Minister of Research, Innovation and Higher Education in two governments and I worked most of my life in, in, when I'm in policy and politics on research and innovation. So I'm in the ITRE committee, I'm EPP deputy uh, coordinator in ITRE. So uh, uh, one of my priorities is to, to enhance the competitiveness of Europe in terms of research and, competitive and, and innovation because we really need this when we compare with the Southeast Asian that are yeah. growing uh, very, very fast uh, and we need to be more competitive. Um, in our industry and in our private sector. I had opportunity last year to be as uh, to act as um, president of NATO Parliamentary Assembly. So I visited countries in Western Balkans, visited countries like Ukraine, Georgia, Moldova. So uh, they are looking to us as a supporters, especially us, because we went through the same, the same way and we know very well how important it was to have at least perspective yes. for European Union membership. Without that perspective, these countries can fall uh, into another side because people have to have some perspective. Maybe not next year, of course, maybe in 10 years they will do their reforms, but we have to be at least those they will give them perspectives. And I, I think that uh, to help these countries to change, we really need to understand what they have yes. gone through. Their history, their uh, political transformations, and uh, it's it's true that we have a big diversity inside the European Union and with the countries around us and it's important to understand to help them and you are very well positioned to, to understand so. them. And, uh, I think so because to, we were together, yeah. we suffered yes, the yes, same yes. style of occupation, yes, consequences yes. of everything happened. Yes. And um, I think that uh, we can share this, yes. this experience yes. and uh, to do as much as possible to have Europe free, not only in the European Union, yes, but, but also uh, in the country, European Europe countries, at large, yes. Europe at large, yes. yes.